I was watching um, one of his recent videos uh, where he was talking about uh, the Supreme Court of Canada uh, trying to mandate re-education for him. Um, you know, I am not a Jordan Peterson fan. He is uh, too traditional for my taste and uh, too old school. And um, I'd have to say uh, some level of re-education would probably benefit him. You know, I think all that uh, Canada is asking is for him to be a little bit more open-minded and not so rigid in his values. Now, Jordan Peterson is a astute intellectual um, and clinical psychologist, I think. But he is a psychologist that only has an understanding at the mental level. Um, and uh, I by no means am a psychologist. I'm not uh, trained in clinical psychology. I only have the knowledge of working with my own soul and psyche and my own shadow work, um, which has allowed me to enter into a dimension much more deeply than what our conscious mind, our mental dimension, can access. And so, when you're too much in your mind, when you're too much in your intellect, you're prone to judge people more uh, at surface level. Like, Jordan Peterson calls a lot of these feminist movements, um, and women, uh, psychopaths, you know, very disturbed people. But um, if you were more um, of a psycho uh, psycho psycho psychoanalyst of the uh, Carl Jungian type, um, you would have the ability to, to look deeper than just at the surface behaviors. What are these women looking for? What are these feminists uh, seeking to achieve at a deeper soul level? Um, I think the main thrust with feminism is the invalidation, the generational invalidation that the female gender has had to endure under the patriarchal uh, heavy-handedness, the patriarchal society. So feminism is just an expression of resistance and rebellion against that form of abuse to invalidate and according to Jordan Peterson's stereotypical image of a woman uh, it should always be the traditional role of woman and infant meaning that is the main purpose of a woman in this life in this world um, that's very old school and uh, that doesn't fly in this new era of, of new consciousness. So Jordan Peterson, um, in my estimation, has some shadow work to do uh, in his own soul and address some of the phobias, the fears that he has about the landscape of our genders changing. There are a lot of underlying fears uh, of upsetting the traditional system, the traditional roles. No, women are not going to um, put up 
with being put in their place. And this is the area, this is one of the areas where some people would benefit from re-education, right? To be uh, more intuitively and empathetically uh, feeling into people's distress at a deeper level without having to label them um, narcissists or psychopaths, you know. Um, that's never a good sign when a psychologist resorts to that kind of um, labeling. You know, and I don't think Jordan Peterson uses it uh, in a professional way because um, there shouldn't be any shaming. If you are trying to help people, you should not employ the energy of shaming or name calling. Uh, but like I said, it needs that ability to probe more deeply into the shadow side of the human psyche to understand where the mental disturbance is coming from, where the emotional disturbance is coming from, the psychological disturbance is coming from. And yes, women are psychologically disturbed. You know, uh, women have had to endure a lot under the heavy handedness of the patriarchy. And uh, the times are not going to, the clock is not going to be turned back. We are moving forward and um, perhaps all of this gender dysphoria is um, the big shuffle, right? To see where the pieces will fall uh, afterwards and uh, definitely not back into the old way of doing things. So just some commentary about my impression of Jordan Peterson and... Uh, a very intellectual, mental mind, uh, brilliant in his academic field, but not so efficient in intuitive empathy, intuitive understanding and feeling of people's emotions and psychological needs.